Hello peoples, Lori here. Bet you didn't expect to see me like this. But it's the only way to <coughs> review the Nintendo Switch. So, the Nintendo Switch, <coughs> I'm here to tell you if it's um, worth it or if it's not. Now, money-wise, it's $299.99. And you, for $299.99... You get the Nintendo Switch, the dock, um, this thing, <laughs> um, the HDMI cord, and then the actual charger cord. And I might just add that um, the cord is pretty good. It's pretty like sturdy, better than an iPhone charger. But the place of the actual where you need to charge it is a little awkward. Because I think if you're ever going to play a game, then how are you going to do it? <clears throat> but then I think like maybe Nintendo has their own version or their own reason for it. Um, just like the iPhone must have a reason why you can't have, um, a, you can't switch cameras during it recording a video. So money wise, eh. I think it seems to work, at least. But then I would just say for low-income families, you should probably um, try to find um, deals on it or used Nintendo Switches. But, as Scotter said, you should try to look for... Um, get, you should try to look for Switches that um, are at a reasonable price for you. Like, um, you don't want... You don't want someone to say... Oh hey, it's just the console, not that not anything else, but it's like two ninety eight ninety nine. So there's a deal. No, you don't want that kind of deal. You want a deal like um whatever suits your budget, you could pay for it, and then um or you could try to get it um on a celebration like your birthday or Christmas. I got mine as a kind of <laughs> kind of a late Christmas gift, but uh, at least and yeah, at least I got it. And I got it um uh, I got this color. I wanted the gray one, but my mom just got the um the neon colored. I wanted the gray one only because the neon color like uh it just burns your eyes sometimes. <laughs> you know, and then the gray one like I I uh, I didn't really love the gray one, but I wanted it just because it kind of had a solid color. Like, if, if Nintendo had, like, just blue or just red controllers, that'll be kind of better. Um, or, like, just r literally red and blue you know, instead of neon colors. But money-wise, I think it's if you're in the right price range, this is um, a good investment. Um, as long as you get it for your own personal use, not you get it just because everyone else wants it. You need to, um, literally want this as much as, um, anyone else because eh, if you don't get it because you want it, then, eh, you'll find like tons of problems with it that is, are minor to me because I want it. Um, but then they'll be like, <laughs> basically world enders for you. But performance wise, um, it's, it's fair. Um, you have the technically lock button right here, which I think it should just turn into, um, a actual literal button like this, um, like the right button. <laughs> Um, and on the home screen, it takes you to the home screen, and you have news, Nintendo eShop, um, the album, controllers, system settings, and then sleep mode. Sleep mode is self-explanatory. System settings, you get to just, um, do the traditional how you would think, and then, um, you could actually get more users, um, I just have me for now. And then you could actually create your um, me, just like um, always. I think that's like a Nintendo thing now. You can literally create me's, whether 
you get um what whatever console you get from Nintendo, you could always get Mii's. And then you could like change the hairstyle. I really don't like that on me. But you could change the hairstyle, change everything. But the thing that's kind of odd is that you see that R and then it says that you can rotate it. I would think it means R as in the right button. But that just toggles the options for you. I think you need to go like this to rotate. And it would make sense. But then what doesn't make sense is that um, you could reset your position. And it says um, just the down arrow and R. I would think you need to go down then to reset it. And no, that doesn't work. And if you press R, no, that doesn't work. If you press R and that, it doesn't work. It's just weird. So I think Nintendo just needs to clear that up. Like, um, I don't know. Maybe they do have a Nintendo um, instruction manual on this. I don't know. Um, but you could do that. And then um, for controllers, it's just um, what percentage... Or no, like... Um, if your controllers, how much battery they have. They don't have the per percentage here. You can't, like, yeah, you can't press it or anything. Um, so I think that's kind of odd. They should, you should have some kind of percentage, especially right here where you could see all of it. You should have some percentage on it. Otherwise, it's kind of like hit or miss. Like, I don't, I'm pretty sure you never know how much percentage you have on the controllers so that's kind of iffy and then the album you can um take pictures but you can take screenshots so then eh, you can still have the picture feature but it's just screenshots and then this is the button that you would take for a screenshot um but <clears throat> then you have nintendo eShop, which is like um, it's a little bit of a headache because every time you go on there, they, um, want your, um, they want your code, and then it's like, eh. I kind of get it because, you know, it's like, um, it's a security measure, but at the same time, it's like, do you have to question every time? Because, like, on your phone... Um, you don't have, Facebook doesn't question you for your pat for your code every single time. It just remembers it. I kind of wish that, um, yeah, I'm getting sidetracked. I wish that there was another way how to, um, save your codes on the Nintendo Switch. Let me see. Okay, and then, um, when you actually get to the Nintendo eShop, you can search for things, and the thing that I noticed with Nintendo is that they put this keyboard still, and it's, it's fair if you have a stylus with it. If you don't, you literally need to press every button. And then for something like free, it's simple. It's not so bad, um, but it gets tedious. And there's only one free software on Nintendo Switch, and that's um, this thing. But you need to find someone that uh, actually owns it, owns the full version in order to play with you on multiplayer mode. So that's kind of dumb. Um, but you also have your little, I don't know what to call it, but like your little, oh, account information. Um, and you could have a wish list. I have these two games, Inner Space and Furl. Those seem like pretty good games as a start, but then, eh, you never know. <laughs> but you can look at, um, recent releases Games on sale, um, best sellers <clears throat> coming soon, and then you can enter a code. 
I guess to get it free or discount or something. I haven't tried that. And you could go home by this button. Um, and then, yeah, that's all that. Um, and you can go to your um, literal page. I like that. Um, and this is where you can change your nickname and edit your icon. Um, and you can edit your icon by changing the pose and changing the background. You have tons of colors to choose from. And then you have, um, oh, you can change your character too, but then I chose me. Um, and then you could change, change your pose and expression. Um, you could change your pose by doing um, something like this, pressing OK, and then it shows up on the background. Um, and you could t change your facial expression um, by something like this, and then pressing OK, and it's like that. But I just generally go for um, the serious face, just because, um, like, I think... Um, I think it's pretty cool because it's kind of um, a shout-out to um, how I used to um, kind of act. I used to kind of just kind of act like a goth, but then I um, I didn't do the stereotypical. Um, and I kind of like this just because when I look at it, it's kind of like um, my me character saying, help, help me. I'm in a box. <laughs> it's kind of funny like that. I think it's funny. And then you can you have a friend list. I have none. <laughs> but you could have friend suggestions or you can add a friend. You could do um, local users. Um, you could do local users. And then the friend list is over here, which I have none again. Um, and you can also um, choose to be online or offline. Um, I don't exactly know how to literally be online, um, and offline, like, um, like manually, but, eh, you know, so performance-wise, I think, um, so far, it's fair, um, because it does, um, whatever you, it does what you expect it to, but then, at the same time, um, there are just, like, a few things that are just, like, kind of irritating. Like, the fact that you need to literally tap all the letters with no stylus. Like, you know, I mean, I could easily see a stylus. Um, like, instead of putting the sound here, you could put the sound right here. And then you could put the um, stylus thing right there. But... Performance wise, besides that, um, it's pretty good. Um, I haven't seen any problems with it, so n I think overall, um, there are a few problems with it, but there are um, some good things to it too. I think if you buy it because you want it, I think you'd be um, pretty wowed by it. And then I think if you buy it base, um, strictly because of hype. I think you'll be disappointed because you shouldn't ever want something just because everyone else wants it. If if you um, go along with trends, then you'll just be like you'll just be followers rather than leaders. And it, like on Twitter and on Instagram, followers are good, but in real life, you never want to follow the herd. You, you, if you if you follow me because everyone else is and I'm like popular or whatever, um, but I have nothing that um, suits you as a viewer. Um, if you follow me and I don't um, suit your needs, then that's just dumb. You should follow someone or um, you should subscribe to someone who um, fulfills your need. Like, um, and I would suggest preferably someone who um, really doesn't bring up, oh, subscribe here, don't forget to subscribe, because that just seems needy. Um, but then, overall, I think that um, if you would want to get it because you want it, I think you'd be happy. 
And um, I think if it's a money issue that you're facing, then I would suggest to get it used or um, maybe um, if you're not sure about getting it, maybe you know someone that um, owns it and then you want to like, you want to borrow it a little bit to just see um, or something like that. Or I think um, at GameStop, maybe there's some times where they have the Nintendo Switch set up. So maybe there's that. Um, and the pluses for it is that I think it's one of a kind. And I think it's um, something that if you buy it, it's a lot of money. But then um, I think it's a good investment as long as you're within the budget. If you're not, then it's kind of like um, you don't want to get a video a video game console that you would later regret because it was so much money. You want to get something that you can afford and it's good. Um, so I think if you're if you're within the range of um being able to buy it, I think you should. And then if you're um, low income or something like that, you don't have the um, money for it right now, I think um, you should try to find reviews about it. You should try to find other people's opinions and then make the choice um, primarily up to you. You should never get something that um, people, that a lot of people get. Um, you shouldn't ever buy into the hype of that. You should always want something because it, it's good. I've experienced only minimal problems with the Nintendo Switch. Um, and like with the headphone jack. Um, I didn't even know that this thing had a name. The headphone jack. I didn't even know that thing had a name. But then um, I put my um, headphones that I recently got. Um, I put it in and then I listened to Troll and I. And it worked really well for me, the sound. Um, and not just the game, the literal console itself. And if you guys would like um, a review on the literal um, troll and I, or if you want like a little bit of a playthrough, I would try to do that. I don't know exactly how to, um, if I do a playthrough, I don't know exactly how to do that yet. So, if you guys have any suggestions, you can, um, you can try to contact me any way you can. But, I hope that this was informative to people who are kind of, like, iffy with this. Because I, I was iffy with this, too. And thankfully, I got this kind of as a gift. Um, so, I think, um, <clears throat> again, if you would want this because you um, you think it's cool, you think you'll like it, I think you should get it. If you just want it because everyone else wants it, then it would be kind of um, tedious for you to get it just because there's still some problems with it. and It's not like 100% perfect. So I hope that you found this informative. And then <clears throat> this marks the end of the video. Okay? Laters, peoples. <laughs> Bye. And I'll have Scooter and Scatter send us out. Send us out. Ten seconds of... Dun. 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 Sorry for the long video. Thanks for watching.